Hey everyone, this is Renee from iMore.com. We are about to go hands-on with TweetBot for iPad. So here we are. The interface is unmistakably TweetBot. However, instead of the single view iPhone client, you now have your tabs across the navigation sidebar. This is the timeline. We also have mentions. To see more details on a tweet, you just tap on it. You have reply, retweet, favorite, actions, copy all the tweets, you can see the detail view. You can simply swipe one way to get a list of the conversation, uh, and you can swipe another way to get a list of replies to a certain tweet. Web pages open in an overlay, and there is an excellent toggle that will take you from normal mode to readability mode. Images open in a light box, very easy to see, very easy to dismiss. We have direct messages, which you shall not peek at. We have favorites. We have search. Now, search starts off with just a generic search where you can put in text strings and you can look through uh, trends. You can also click through to, sorry, tap through to people. You can search anybody, followers, following. You also have a bunch of categories. You can browse by interest, for example, music lovers. You have your profile page where you see your basic bio, you have your followers, your following, your listed, your tweets, and your uh, recent Twitter activity. You can go into your lists if you are a big list user. You can see your retweets. You can tap over here just to get a quick list of retweets by others, retweets by you, your tweets retweeted. And you also have mute filters, which um, TweetBot implements really well. This is, for example, you can't unfollow your boss or your brother-in-law, but they just won't stop tweeting that 20-hour cricket match. Um, or, you know, they're, they're on a Charlie Sheen retweet streak and you just want to turn them off. You can also turn off hashtags if someone is spoiling the latest episode of Fringe, for example. Or you can block out entire clients. So if your boss, for example, just discovered Smurf Village and won't stop going on about the points that he has, you can very easily mute that out. To change accounts, tap on your name. Very simple to do. You can go through and just pick any of your accounts. You can even manage your accounts right from there. You can also very quickly move to your lists. Or you can compose a tweet. Composing a tweet is very similar, you know, if, if whether you quote a tweet or you start a new tweet or you reply to a tweet, you end up in this window. Unlike some other Twitter clients, you have no access to um, previous information. You don't have the Twitter lists on the side. If you've typed anything, you can't close the tweet without having to save it as a draft. So it's not easy if you want to go back and reference um, previous tweets. However, it does have uh, good functionality. Um, a little bit hidden, you can switch accounts by tapping on your avatar. You can also choose to add your location. The location icon is the same as the options icons. I kind of wish those were a little bit different. Um, you can choose a person. So for example, I can start typing and it will give me a list of people I want to add. You can do the same thing for hashtags. And you can also add pictures or videos from your library or you can take them with the incredibly impressive iPad camera. If you have drafts, you can access them just by tapping on the drafts button and very quickly restore the last draft. If you no longer want to engage in this tweet, you can just delete it. Where a lot of the magic begins in TweetBot is in the settings tab. You quickly access settings, you have a lot of things from sounds to display. There's a ton of options in all of these things. It'll take you a while to work through them, but they are really worth it. You can turn off a lot of the things in the sidebar if you want a cleaner experience. You can choose if you're in old school retweets, vias, if you were in the via phase, you know, and you can set triple taps for retweet, favorites, translates, view and favorites. Uh, they are good on gestures. From the account settings is where you get to the fun stuff, like notifications. They have phenomenal support for notifications in TweetBot. You just click on notifications here, sorry, tap on notifications here. Uh, you can choose to have mentions by everyone, no one, people you follow, direct messages, retweets, favorites, follows, added to lists, subscribe to lists. It's almost too much. The only thing that saves it is that you also have sleep 
um, options. So for example, you can make your notifications go off at a certain time and come back on at another time so you don't get disturbed by all those notifications during the night. Um, you can also check to see when your last notification was and if you're paranoid, you think you're missing that magic retweet from that certain celebrity, you can tell it to test the notification system. Tons of services, URL shorteners, image uploaders, video uploaders, read it later. You have options for Instapaper, Pinboard, readability, read it later. Sync tweet marker, so if you use um, Tweetbot or another tweet marker enabled client on your smartphone, on your desktop, you can have your timeline kept in sync. Uh, mobilizers like Reader in Safari, it basically strips out everything from a web page and gives you just the text. You can choose between Google, Instapaper, and Readability. Um, you also have a few other options for trends and whatnot, but that's really the bulk of it. So all in all, Tweetbot for iPad is very similar to Tweetbot for iPhone, and that is an excellent, excellent thing. So there you have it, Tweetbot for iPad. Best notifications in the business, distinctive design, powerful enough for power users, accessible enough for new users. I know Twitter clients are like dessert, everyone has their own favorites, but Tweetbot for iPad is probably gonna be the favorite of a lot of people for a while to come. This is Renee from iMore.com.